Do you think the, there'll be a day when an AI system being the primary contributor, let's say 90% plus wins the Nobel Prize in physics? Obviously they'll give it to the humans because we humans don't like to give prizes to machines. <laughs> it'll, give, it'll give it to the humans behind the system. You could argue that AI has already been involved in some Nobel Prizes probably, maybe something with black holes and stuff like that. But. Yeah, we don't like giving uh, prizes to other life forms. If, <laughs> if someone wins a horse racing contest, they, they don't give the prize to the horse either. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> uh, but do you think that's we might be able to see something like that in our lifetimes when AI, so like th the first system I would say that makes us think about a Nobel Prize seriously is like Alpha Fold, is making us think about uh, in medicine, physiology, a Nobel Prize, perhaps discoveries that are a direct result of something that's discovered by Alpha Fold. Do you think in physics, we might be able to see that in our lifetimes? I think what's probably going to happen is more of a blurring of, of the distinctions. Uh, so today, if somebody uses a computer to do a computation that gives them the normal prize, nobody's going to dream of giving the prize to the computer. They're going to be like, that was just a tool. I, I think uh, for these things also, people are just going to, for a long time, view the computer as a tool. But what's going to change is that the, is the ubiquitous the ubiquity of, of machine learning. I, I think at some point in my lifetime, finding a human physicist who knows nothing about machine learning is gonna be about almost as hard as it is today finding a human physicist who doesn't, says, oh, I don't know anything about computers right. or I don't use math. Right. It would just be a ridiculous concept. But, see, but the thing is, there is a magic moment though, like with Alpha Zero, when the system surprises us in a way mm -hmm. where the best people in the world truly learn something from the system in yeah. a way where you feel like it's another entity. Yeah. Like the, the way people, the way Magnus Carlsen, the way certain people are looking at the work of Alpha Zero, it's like uh, it, it truly is no longer a tool in the, in the sense that it doesn't feel like a tool. It feels like some other entity. So th yeah. there is a magic difference, like oh, where yeah. where you're like, uh, you know, if an AI system is able to come up with an insight that surprises everybody yeah. in, in a some uh, in, in some like major way that's a phase shift in our understanding of some particular science or some some particular aspect of physics. I feel like that is no longer a tool, and, th and then you can start to say. Uh, that like it perhaps deserves the prize. So for sure, the more important, the more fundamental transformation of the 21st century science is exactly what you're saying, which is probably everybody will be doing machine learning to some degree. Like if you want to be su successful at uh, unlocking the mysteries of science, you should be doing machine learning. But it's just exciting to think about like whether there'll be one that comes along that's super surprising and uh, they'll make us question like who the real inventors are in this world. Yeah. Yeah. I think the question of isn't if it's going to happen, but when, and, and, but it's important also in my mind, the time when that happens is also more or less the same time when we get artificial general intelligence. Yes. And then we have a lot bigger things to worry about than <laughs> whether the... <laughs> we should get the Nobel prize or not. Right. And yeah. Because when you have machines that can outperform our best scientists at science, they can probably outperform us at a lot of other stuff as well, which can at a minimum, you know, make them incredibly powerful agents in, in the world, you know. And I, I think it's a mistake to think we only have to start worrying about loss of control when machines get to AGI across the board, when they can do everything, all our jobs. Uh, long before that, they'll be hugely influential. We talked at length about how the, the hacking of our minds with um, <laughs> algorithms trying to get us glued to our screens, right, has already had a big impact on, on society. That was an incredibly dumb algorithm in the grand scheme of things, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Just supervised machine learning, yet that had, had huge impact. 